Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss about the biosynthesis of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is an organic chemical that functions in the brain and body as a neurotransmitter. Its name is derived from its chemical structure. It is an ester of acetic acid and choline. That's why the name acetylcholine. Let's begin with the few points regarding this biosynthesis of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is the acetic acid ester of choline. It is synthesized within the cholinergic neurons by the transfer of an acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme A to the organic base choline. A specific enzyme choline acetyl transferase that is choline acetylase is necessary for this reaction. Coenzyme A is widely distributed in the body and choline is an essential dietary constituent which belonging to the B complex group of vitamin. Choline acetyl transferase is synthesized in the cell bodies of the cholinergic neuron. Acetylcholine is produced through the neuron and is stored in synaptic vesicles which are mainly accumulated at the nerve ending. So these are the introductory points regarding the biosynthesis of acetylcholine. Now in next slide we discuss how actually this synthesis takes place. Acetylcholine synthesis takes place mainly in three steps. First step which takes place in mitochondria in that the acetate reacts with ATP and forms a adenyl acetate and the further two steps which takes place in adrenal cytoplasm like in second step this form adenyl acetate reacts with coenzyme A in presence of acetyl kinase and gives acetyl coenzyme A that is acetyl COA and this form acetyl coenzyme A reacts with choline in presence of choline acetylase and forms a acetylcholine with a COA. The major source of energy for step E, step second is adenosine triphosphate that is ATP which is used for the second step. Now in here we discuss the events which taking place at a typical cholinergic synapse. So here is the neurons that is the affector and effector neuron. So there is a synthesis of acetylcholine in the neuron which is some way controlled by the passing of impulses themselves and the impulse or the nerve impulse that passes when there is an entry of sodium inside the neuron and exist of potassium from the neuron. The calcium ions play a major role in the release of process of acetylcholine. When there is an entry of calcium inside the neuron then there is a release of acetylcholine from the synaptic vesicles into the synaptic cleft and once the acetylcholine comes inside the synaptic cleft it gets attached to the receptor and also it rapidly gets hydrolyzed by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase and due to that enzyme acetylcholine esterase this acetylcholine get hydrolyzed into the choline and acetate. The acetate which get washed off in the circulation means it goes inside the circulation and this form choline which get reabsorbed by the presynaptic terminals and which can be used for the further synthesis of acetylcholine. Like this reabsorbed choline reacts with acetyl coenzyme A in presence of choline acetylase enzyme to acetylcholine and this synthesized acetylcholine gets stored in synaptic vesicles. So these are the events which taking place at a typical cholinergic synapse. 
So hope all of you are getting this biosynthesis of acetylcholine as well as the events which takes place in the typical cholinergic synapse means how there is a release of acetylcholine takes place and how it will be get hydrolyzed. So hope all of you getting this. Thank you and happy learning.